Uh, but l- let's go to jump over to the news. Um, Blizzard announced via blog post that Jeff Kaplan, the man, the myth, the meme, who is the most famous, sat for- in front of a burning fire for like seven hours, just staring at the screen, <laughs> and people thought it was fake until he moved. <laughs> yeah. Um, who is who's most famous? Yeah, who's most famous for being Overwatch's director has left the company. Uh, Kaplan has 19 years of Blizzard tenure under his belt, who served as a World of Warcraft quest designer before being promoted to director. Uh, filling Kaplan's position is Alan, uh, Alan, I'm sorry, Aaron Keller, an 18 year Blizzard veteran that has previously worked alongside Kaplan on both Overwatch and World of Warcraft. Uh, Keller notes that he has, quote, no pretenses about filling Jeff's shoes, but that he is honored to carry the torch forward on Overwatch 2. Uh, Keller also notes that Overwatch 2's development is steadily moving along. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not necessarily crazy invested in Blizzard as a company overall. Like the the game of theirs I've played the most would be Overwatch, and and even then I'm kind of like on and off. Like I enjoy it, but I'm not like crazy super into it. Never browse that that category of some websites. Uh, <laughs> um. Kyle's <laughs> maybe, hey, maybe, maybe they'll get me back once they tell me why Lucio's there. Yeah. Um, can I? I can I? Can I? Hello. I, I, yeah. Uh, I like playing as Harambe. That that's good. But um, go ahead, sir. Um. So this kind of always ticks me off when someone leaves Blizzard and people are like, "The company's going downhill." These people worked on the same games for 20 plus years. If they want to leave and do something else, let them leave and do something else. Like it's not like plus people leaving a company doesn't always mean that something's going bad. Three fourths of the time, they just want to leave because they want to go do something else. It's like when people when 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 Chris Metzen retired from Blizzard, people were like, "Oh, what? the Blizzard's got to go downhill because because Chris isn't here anymore." And it's like, no, Chris has been at that company since the company basically started. Like, well, I he feel wanted like... to go and do his own thing. Like, it's baffling to me that people see this and instantly think that something's doing bad. Like, this isn't Bioware, people. Like, most often than not, people are leaving because they just don't, because they just want to go do some something else. Like, if I was working on Overwatch for the past 10 goddamn years, I'd be like, God, I want to do something else. Like, I want to want to go and do something else i feel like it's even two-pronged and like i'll absolutely agree on the point that no one should ever be mad at someone like leaving a company because they want to pursue something personally especially if you're at the same place for 19 years that is a long fucking time yeah um, I, I know a lot of i know a lot of people that have worked on um on bigger games uh they get tired of the crunch they get tired of the of the scale they want to go back down to something smaller um there's a chapter in uh, Jason Schreier's book, uh, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, um, going over Bruce Straley. Um, oh, I forget his exact name. He, he was one of the directors of The Last of Us and um, Uncharted 4, and just like kind of the hell like, like he even went through. Like He had to rent an apartment that was across the street from the studio just because he couldn't even be bothered to go home most nights. Um, so so I, w- I would definitely chalk this out to like maybe even some burnout issues. But and I, I also, guess... a lot of recent Blizzard stuff hasn't even been the old school Blizzard people. The newest World of Warcraft X, X pack, yes, it had like veteran Blizzard people on it, but the story in it was like Christy Christy Goldie's first time writing for the base game itself, and not like the books or anything. And a lot of the like gr- level des- designers and like world designers and stuff were people who were being promoted from like interns or like people new hired to the to the company like old and this is gonna sound incredibly controversial and i feel saying this but old blizzards kind of getting take not taken over but like the newer people are coming in and showing that they can make blizzard games just as blizzard did but for the new generation and like the new the new wow x x packs and wow classic still has original world of warcraft people on it it's like i feel like people like because it's happening a lot, people are scared that the, the company's going down downhill when it's like you're still playing WoW, you're still playing over Overwatch. I highly doubt that Overwatch 2 is going to be a disaster. Well, it, like, and just in that regard to touch on, I, th- I feel like it's a bit of a two-pronged approach where um, correlation doesn't prove causation. So e- even if people are leaving, that doesn't necessarily mean whatever upcoming projects are going to be crap. As you said, there's new talent coming up with new ideas. 
um, that can ultimately lead to a better product than a, if it was even older talent. Um, but, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff going on in the back end with Blizzard mostly perpetuated by Activision that is pushing a lot of the old guard out, making weird decisions uh, that are affecting the games. Um, I, like if it's anything, I would maybe put it at the feet of that. But I, I think people rushing to say like, "Oh, Overwatch Two is fucked." I, I think that's a very short-sighted um, way to look at it. Well, I, mm-hmm. I mean, I would I would assume if if you're a veteran who's been doing, who's been a part of this, whether it's a Blizzard or any studio like that, for a really long time, at that point, that's your baby. You're not going to leave that in bad hands. So even if it is things, because I do believe there, there has to be some level of, man, we really don't like Activision. <laughs> like some of this stuff is really frustrating, but it's not enough to immediately push you to go, okay, well then I'm just out and we'll just let it crash and burn and then it'll prove that I'm right. But it's kind of more of a, okay, these things are frustrating to me. I don't like these things. This is hard for me to work under because this isn't what I'm, used to or what i what i what i come from or whatever or where things where we wanted things to go whatever and now there are people who are in a position who who did come up in that culture or in that mindset or or whatever and they're capable of making things really well so i feel like okay good i can finally step away and not have to worry about the legacy because if you if you spend 19 years with with a with a studio or with, with anywhere you don't want to leave and then watch it fail. You want to leave and then watch it to continue to do well because you want to be able to go like, hey, look, we built something that lasted and it's still doing great. And, you know, another 20 years from now, you can go, hey, like I was a part of that. Look, at that's awesome. You don't want to look and you're reading about it in books about, you know, one of the greatest disasters in history of, of, of video game developers, right? So I, and not that I'm pretending to know anything about obviously the, the actual circumstances about this, but I, I do think it, it is very likely that some of the decision to leave probably had to do with that there was at some level probably some like, hey, you know, not love and Activision and also just a level of, hey, it'd be nice to go do something new. And I can feel comfortable doing that because there's people here who are, are stepping up and, and bringing in kind of new talent, training up new talent who are doing a great job. Well, that's mm-hmm. sort of when. So for people who don't know, Rod Ferguson is the new director on Diablo 4. And for people who don't know, he's the guy that saved the first Gears. Gears of War would have never gotten finished if Rod Ferguson hadn't been brought on. and was like, okay, we need to get this stream- streamlined. We need to get this done. And Rod had been on record saying that he would never leave the Gears franchise until the people who were working on it had it in a place where he felt comfortable to go, you guys have it. You guys got this. I feel comfortable leaving. And Rod left. Rod left, like, I think a year after Gears 5 came came out, or like a year and a half. And people were freaked out that the Gears franchise was, like, done. And Rod came out and said, I would have never left if I didn't think that these people had it. That they knew what Gears of War was, and they would take it further and just continue making this franchise as good as it can be. And people were baffled when he moved on to work on Diablo. Like, he is the head director of Diablo. And people were saying, oh, they did this because Diablo's a, a disaster. They like need they like need Rod to fix it. Well, Gears was never a disaster. Gears just had was so ambitious and needed someone to reel it in to get it out and make it what it what what it was. And like uh, the the entire fan base was like, look, this is what Rod did with with Gears. Why are we freaking out that Diablo might be a disaster if Rod, who literally what Kyle just just said, moved on from this this new generation team has this. I can leave this franchise that I helped to form in the hands of the new people while I go work on some s- something else. And it's just like it I and it feel like this always happens with Blizzard. Like I'm like, guys, calm down. Like, like yes. 9 9.1 of Shadowlands isn't out yet. Yes, it's in PTR. Overwatch 2 isn't is not yet. We've seen nothing. They they update Diablo quarterly with like brand new content. Like can people just like calm down please? Like as someone who is like sitting in the World of Warcraft chair and is a giant Blizzard person, can people please calm down? Like I'm not mm-hmm. defending Activision, I'm not defending the company. I'm just like, look, not everything is the is like Defcon 5. Like, like not everything is off. Oh, fuck, everything's ruined. Like, no. <laughs> Mesa, well, do you have any thoughts? Um, well, I mean, like, yeah, like, how long has, was he at Blizzard again? 19 years. 
19 <laughs> years. If, if he had stayed if he had stayed two more years, his tenure could have had a drink. Like like they're like I can't imagine living in a home for 19 years, let alone <laughs> working at the same company. I, I'm I'm sure he's just I'm sure he probably um I wouldn't be surprised, especially with um uh, a lot of the backlash for Overwatch 2 as well. That he was just kind of tired <laughs> as well. Yeah, he, um, he probably is just looking for uh, the long lost uh, eight hours of sleep that he probably hasn't had for most of those eighteen years or nineteen years, rather. So, yeah, I don't. I don't think this is a. I don't necessarily think that this is some sort of sign about uh, the 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 turmoil bubbling under the surface of Activision Blizzard. I think it's just. Just he is time. Let Jeff Kaplan sleep. Let the yeah. rest. <laughs> I, I will say that to maybe even just cap this off in his little um his little farewell notes in the blog post. Mm -hmm. I did I did find it was funny. It was all in lowercase. There's not a single yeah. capitalized letter in there. <laughs> He the did man, post a very the sweet meme. Reddit post as well on R slash over Overwatch that mm -hmm. actually kind of made me get misty eyed. Like, dude, dude cares about the community, guys. He's not leaving because he hates you. He he he, he, he like cares about people. He's just leaving to rest. <laughs> to to <laughs> maybe get another reaction out of Kyle here. Do you think he's ever seen any of those videos on those websites? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, it's impossible not <laughs> <Yes>. to. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a, honestly you have to use that as like a like a barometer of like, all right, how good is this character? Okay, good, good, all right, go. Yeah, I think when they're yeah. when they're when they're trying to decide, you know, like what characters do we do we put more of an emphasis on? Like, do we want to kind of make more prominent if we want to make it so they're it's this is a character people are going to use more. They go, all right, well, what people are they making videos of more? You know, what's more popular? What's the main corn hub post? Or 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 if they would like a character to be more popular. He's going, hey, maybe we should uh, get some people to make some videos of them. Or make it a little more... <laughs> no, Blizzard wouldn't make people. They like... They like um, that's more, of a, that's more uh, of a Randy no, pitch that's, for move. Wait, that's see, more that, of a Randy pitch for move. Yeah, see, the, see, no, no, no. So here's the thing. They're, they're a lot smarter. So they don't make them. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all like under the table, right? And so, and and the reason they were suing people who were doing it is so they could have this plausible deniability of we would never, how <laughs> dare you accuse? We would never. But we're glad you're watching stuff about our game. But we would never. <laughs> I gotta say that that's a hell of a marketing strategy. Yeah. Get Look, it works. I mean, I mean, if if you if you go on those like interesting trend blog posts that those sites put up, and they're like trending video game characters, there's always an Overwatch mm -hmm. character on there. There is always an Overwatch character on there. That shit never changes. I mean, <laughs> I I think the reason why Overwatch completely blew Battleborn out of the water is because Battleborn didn't have its own category. I think it did. I swear to God, I think it did for like a hot minute. Well, well there's, that, like, oh, there's that Reddit that everyone clearly saw Randy made himself. Uh, oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> oh, Randy. Oh, I remember oh, no. that. Oh. Randy, Randy, Randy. Uh, I, I think you've unraveled a conspiracy here, Kyle, and I, I think it's very mm. legit. Yeah, I look, until they say otherwise, I'm rolling with it. This is fact. Hmm. Big facts, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. This this is big brain move, galaxy brain. Um, it's ooh. what I would do if I was in charge, which is why I'm not in charge of anything. I, I think you should <laughs> be. <laughs> I I disagree, but you know, if anyone would like to hire me for some brilliant marketing strategies, I look. I I've only got the one idea. But it works with pretty much everything. It, it, if it's the best idea that you that that's all you need. Exactly. It's true. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. It's true. Don't fear um, the man with the <laughs> who's practiced a thousand ideas. <laughs> fear the man who's practiced one idea a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was not expecting this. Uh, I love you, Kyle. <laughs> 